Okay, so in this video, I am going to discuss about the Roger Harriet's first experiment. Roger Harriet used to work with bacteriophages. Um, bacteriophages are virus-eating bacteria. Um, they consist of two things, mainly a protein layer which is known as capsid and second are the nucleic acids. Now, this protein layer capsid surrounds the nucleic acid. The protein layer or the capsid can be radioactively labeled by isotope S35 because you know the protein consists of many sulfur containing amino acid like methionin and the nucleic acid can be radioactively labeled by a radioisotope known as P32 because the in nucleic acid the backbone itself is made up of phosphorus. One other, another thing that we need to notice is that what are ghost bacteriophages? Ghost bacteriophages are bacteriophages without nucleic acid. This means that the ghost bacteriophages consist only of capsid layer and not nucleic acid. Okay. What he did in the experiment was he took the T2 phages which were S35 labeled. This means that S35 label proteins. Okay. So the proteins of the T2 phages were labeled. He incubated this T2 phages with three different strains of E. coli that is B, B2 and B4 because the E. coli is the host of T2 phages. Now what happens is after incubation he centrifuged it now he got supernatant and pellet. Now what happens is if the T2 phages had infected the E. coli the E. coli is a heavier cell so they say that so they remain in pellet so if T2 phages infect the E. coli the S35 activity would be in pellet. Okay, but if T2 fats does not infect the E. coli, the S35 label activity would be in supernatant. So, what we found out was that in the first B strain, the S35 activity was more in the pellet, that was 80%. In the second strain, the S35 activity was more in the supernatant. So, they were in uninfected. In the third strain also, the S35 activity was more in the pellet. So, they, they, these E. coli were also infected. Now, what he wanted to prove is that the host specificity that for B strain it is infecting, B2 strain it is not infecting, and B4 strain it is infecting, this host specificity is due to the proteins and not the nucleic acid. So he took the uh, T2 phages, but now he took the ghost T2 phages, which means the T2 phages without nucleic acid. So he took the same S35 T2 phages, but now the ghost E2, uh, T2 phages. And he did the same experiment and the same result were obtained. So what he concluded was that the proteins were responsible for the host specificity and not the DNA was responsible for the host specificity. Uh, that's it. Thank you.